Hey y'all, welcome to B's Intuition. I'm B, and I'm back with another general collective energy message. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I do cuss and I do tell the truth. So if you don't like either one of the two, then you probably should move on. I've already prayed over the cards and the energy, so we're just going to hop in and get this message. Please remember to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe, especially to those of you that are viewing the channel but have not yet subscribed. You don't want to miss out on the messages that God has for you. Also, please remember to take what resonates only and leave the rest for whoever it's for. Every message will not be your message. So with that being said, y'all, let's hop in. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? The whole package card flipped over. It didn't flip out, but I'm going to keep it just because it's the first card. So yeah, this is um, wisdom, knowledge, you know, uh, financial stability, you know, this is, um, yeah, somebody, you know, just somebody has everything, you know, that uh, somebody wants or that, you know, somebody needs or something like that with this whole package card. So I feel like that, uh, you know, somebody basically yeah needs to pat themselves on the back because I feel like that there is somebody that's looking at somebody in that way like somebody you know has a lot of wisdom a lot of knowledge you know somebody possibly you know is admiring somebody you know um for you know the way that they carry themselves you know not so much necessarily as their financial you know stability or anything like that but you know they could be admiring somebody you know for you know taking care of themselves you know uh being independent not you know looking to other people you know for help and uh things of that nature you could be a, uh, this could be about a feminine energy because it's a purse. Um, so there could be somebody looking at a feminine energy in that way, or there's a feminine energy looking at, you know, another feminine energy in that way, or it could be, uh, you know, uh, a masculine energy, you know, that could be, yeah, that a feminine energy could be looking at in that way. Yeah. Cause like in, this is a wallet. In the inside of this purse, but it looks like it's a like a masculine wallet. So yeah, somebody's balanced when it comes to you know their masculine and feminine energy. Yeah, with this apple here, yeah, somebody could be a teacher or something about yeah. Somebody uh has learned some type of lessons. Somebody could definitely be teaching some lessons. Mm-hmm. But this is also too that Apple was giving me like a healthy lifestyle. Somebody could be a doctor or somebody could be, you know, aspiring to be a doctor or somebody could possibly be receiving some information when it comes to a doctor or uh, somebody's about to meet a doctor. Yeah, we have the bright idea card, but this is also uh, highly intuitive. So somebody definitely could be highly intuitive, but it's something about, um, yeah, a bright idea. I feel like uh, whoever this whole package individual is, you know, they could, you know, bring a lot of bright ideas to the table. Or there's a bright idea that's getting ready to brought, be brought to somebody here. Somebody could be uh, like biracial, you know, um, mixed with, you know, a dark and a light. Whatever that means to somebody. Somebody could be caramel complexion. Mm -hmm. Somebody's last name could be brown. Or something about the color brown could be significant. Yeah, but uh, some type of bright idea possibly is getting ready to be brought to somebody. Or somebody is birthing a new idea and it's getting ready to uh, come to fruition or it's getting or yeah, they're getting it's getting ready to be, you know, birth. Somebody definitely needs to, uh, you know, trust their intuition when it comes to, you know, everything that they got going on in their life, everything, you know, that's coming their way. Somebody could be trying to, uh, yeah, the past card came out. So something about the past. I'm going to keep it. 
somebody definitely could be trying to figure out, you know, how to uh, keep their um, their electricity on. So there could be somebody that, you know, uh, possibly is not doing so good financially. Or they're, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure out how to pay their bills. But it's something about the past. Some, some type of, yeah, bright idea or some type of passion that maybe somebody set aside in the past. Uh... It possibly could be coming back. So, you know, it could be on somebody's mind heavily as far as like, you know, starting it back up. I just heard uh, a painter. So there could be a painter that could have put painting, you know, to the uh, back burner. And maybe it's because they thought that it wasn't going to be lucrative or, you know, they thought that they weren't going to, you know, benefit financially off of it. I feel like that, yeah, uh, something is going to come to somebody to where, you know, they pick that um, passion back up. And it is definitely going to uh, be lucrative for somebody. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, the past or a uh, past person or past people. I'm also picking up, too, somebody definitely could be trying to figure out if somebody knows about something in the past. Or this could be a past person trying to figure out if somebody knows something. But I feel like with this... uh the light bulb being on it's kind of like somebody does know something maybe somebody has just for you know forgave and forgot about whatever it is you know it's it but it's also giving me too, like you know with this being a purse and a wallet something about yeah um like something to do with finances and it's not you know finances it definitely could have something to do with like property you know because like a wallet and a purse would be somebody's personal property Mm-hmm. Somebody could ride bikes or like to ride bikes. Somebody definitely, yeah. Something about, yeah, somebody, uh, because there's a basket on this bike. So something about, yeah, somebody being a basket case or somebody going crazy or somebody uh, doing something irrational or acting irrational in the past or something like that. Maybe somebody's trying to figure out if somebody remembers that. I mean, if it's if, if somebody is thinking about it, then evidently it has, it has to be something, you know, not good. So, more than likely, yeah, somebody possibly remembers it, you know, but maybe somebody has already, you know, forgiven and forget, I mean, forgiven and forgot, you know, about, you know, whatever, whatever happened in the past. The big house card came out, but it came out in the reverse. Mm-hmm. Somebody or some people are being brought down to brought down to size or something like that. Yeah, it's giving me like ego death. So somebody could be going through some type of ego death. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be trying to whatever somebody has done in the past or it's a past person. If it's not something that was done in the past, it's just this is involving a past person. But somebody definitely is trying to stay out of something. This could be like stay out of uh, a mental health facility. This could be to stay out of jail. This could be to stay out of prison. Uh, this could be, um, you know, uh, but it also could be like, yeah, somebody getting out. This could also be, you know, like the hospital. Um, But it's something about two. Mm, side note, somebody can't get up, if you know what I mean. This could be a past person. And I'm talking about their private part, you know, uh, their beefcake. Somebody's beefcake is limp, or somebody can't get it up. I don't know who that's for. Weird, but... Okay. This, but this could also be like, you know, some type of... Or, uh, organization you know what I mean this could be you know a cult a secret society this could be the government this could be yeah somebody could be losing you know a, a position of power you know like a, you know like a CEO or something this literally could be a doctor you know what I mean there could be a doctor that could be you know losing their uh, private practice uh, their license and their pra private practice 
but but there definitely is somebody that's trying to stay out of something or there is somebody that's uh, gotten out of something so this could be an organization this could be you know getting out of the hospital uh, getting out of a job you know that they possibly were trying to escape from um, getting out you know of um, jail getting out of you know a mental health facility yeah the flying under the radar card slipped out so somebody definitely could be flying under the radar but it's also too something about yeah somebody being protected by a family or a family member we didn't got that card several times but it just slipped out so somebody could slip up and say something I'll put this back oh platform so somebody has a social media platform or some type of platform but this is also yeah it doesn't have to necessarily be social media this could be like yeah somebody um you know speaking up and saying something but it's in a whole uh, it's in a uh, it's in front of a whole bunch of people mm -hmm. somebody yeah could uh have a chance to to do something you know this could be um yeah, to to stand up in a ho in front of a whole bunch of people and you know um, maybe you know teach some stuff or you know present some type of um, product you know to a whole bunch of people. This could be yeah some type of invention is what I just heard. This could literally be their side of the story, you know. Or that's what somebody wants to do. They want to present their side of the story. Or they want to tell their side of the story. Or this is somebody that, yeah, has some type of bright idea. Um, or they think that they have some type of bright idea and they want to present it to somebody. But I'm also picking up too, you know, for those of you that do, that have been working on some great stuff, you know, it is time, you know. So if you've been thinking about bringing it to the forefront or you've been thinking about, you know, presenting it, you know, or... You know, uh, maybe you're trying to get a sponsorships or something like that or whatever people do when they, you know, bring uh, present their products to the world. It's time for somebody to do that. Somebody definitely could be bringing a child into the world or something about, um, uh, uh, yeah, somebody already brought a child into the world. Or maybe somebody wants to, you know, present some type of idea to somebody, you know, maybe somebody wants to ask somebody to be a surrogate or, you know. Maybe this is, you know, a, uh, somebody that somebody, you know, is in a relationship with, you know, and maybe somebody has been scared to say, well, you think we can, you know, get a surrogate or, you you know, you want to try IVF or, you know, something like that. Maybe somebody, you know, is uh, you know, wanting to, you know, uh, present that, you know, to somebody or, you know, maybe it's it's to a group of people. I don't know. It's for, that's for somebody. Somebody's also wanting to wait until they get out of something before they present something to somebody. Ah, the spiritual gift card came out. Somebody's definitely about to receive a new spiritual gift. This is, uh, yeah, pre uh, presenting a gift. Somebody definitely is uh, putting on a show or something about a show. Because I just heard presenting, you know, like um, when the um, announcer, you know, announces it's about to bring somebody to the show, to the stage. Somebody could be, yeah, on like America's Got Talent or something like that. But yeah, it's something about, yeah, somebody's about to uh, uh, receive a new spiritual gift. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, a boy. So this 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 spiritual gift, you know, because like uh, children literally are gifts from, you know, the most high, you know, like any other spiritual gift, you know, they just uh, manifest in the physical. So somebody definitely yeah, could be having a kid, you know, and it could be a boy because this uh, ribbon is a blue something about a blue ribbon. Ah, so somebody's about to win some stuff or somebody has already won and somebody is about to receive, you know, um, some type of reward for it. I'm also picking up too. Somebody done passed some type of test. 
Or yeah, somebody done learned a lesson or, or something like that. Yeah, it's something about freedom. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm also picking up too. Yeah, somebody's like living like, you know, like a free life, you know, as far as like um, free of, you know, stress, free of, you know, bitterness, free of anger, free of, you know, and we're all human. We have, you know, times where we get mad or, you know, we're sad, you know, or whatever the situation is. But I feel like um, whoever, you know, uh, this message is for somebody has gotten uh, over a lot of stuff or they've gotten through a lot of stuff. This definitely could be like, you know, anger, you know, this could be like, you know, uh, hurt, you know, this could be all the way from childhood, you know, the way, you know, that, uh, you know, they were raised and, you know, how they had to live as a child and things of that nature. Um, and I feel like, yeah, somebody is free of all that. There could be people that could, that could be, um, trying to figure out how somebody is free. Yeah. Somebody's spiritually free. But it's something about, yeah, somebody's um, somebody's spiritual gifts are help help them, you know what I'm saying, to possibly free themselves. Or, yeah, somebody could ha have the gift of healing. So that could play the part, confirmation, in why, yeah, somebody has healed or, you know, why somebody, you know, is, is healing. I just heard uh, swift healing. This could also be, like, physically as well, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, yeah, if, so if, if somebody, you know, had anger issues in the past or somebody was on the verge, you know, um of some type of breakdown or something like that in the past. Yeah, somebody avoided it. I feel like somebody, yeah, um, did something in the nick of time. So this could be, yeah, um, spiritually awakened in the nick of time. You know, this could have been, you know, go through some type of realization to be able to spiritually awaken. This could have been, you know, to end, you know, a, a tumultuous uh, relationship, you know. This could have been, yeah, to, to walk away from the past in general. You know, whether it be, uh, you know, forgetting about the past and moving forward, you know, to the present and to the future, uh, walking away from those that don't serve your highest good, um, you know, forgiving yourself, you know, because you've done the best that you could. It's something about, yeah, uh, somebody learning lessons and somebody, you know, continuing to, you know, um, move forward in uh, the lessons learned, if that makes any sense. Something about, yeah, a target. Somebody's free from being targeted. This is the target card. All this red, red and white. Mm-hmm. Somebody's being free. I mean, somebody's free from being targeted. But it's something about target. So somebody, if somebody, uh, yeah, has some type of product or something like that, I feel like yeah, it's it's going to be like in stores, you know, like big stores, like Target, because this is the target. It's target. Mm-hmm. Wow, but there, there, there definitely could be somebody or some people that definitely, yeah, were targeting somebody, you know, for possibly their spiritual gifts, uh, possibly, um, you know, their finances. It's something about, yeah, somebody being the uh, target, but somebody being free. United States is the bullseye. So, side note, something could definitely take place, you know. Some type of attack on uh, the United States. Uh, so, I mean, we can't, you know, be prepared. I can't say be aware because, I mean, we don't know when. But definitely can forewarn people that there is about to be some type of attack um, on the United States of America. But somebody has been caught red-handed. So that's why somebody's free of uh, being targeted. Or something about, yeah, somebody's stealing out of Target. So somebody could find out that somebody's stealing out a target or something like that. Somebody possibly is trying to uh, not get locked up. Or maybe somebody, yeah, did something, you know, like use somebody's credit card, you know, or has been, yeah, using somebody's credit or credit card. And, and yeah, target could be one of the places that they possibly use their credit or their credit card or, you know, their debit card or something about, yeah, but somebody could also be losing a job and it could be from target. It's kind of like, yeah, somebody can't even keep a job at target, but something about, yeah, big organizations going down or big, you know, big names are going down. I hope it ain't, I hope target ain't one of them, but maybe target is going to be, yeah, going down or something about, yeah. Uh, we finding some stuff out about places like Target. Like they could, you know, 
be racist or, you know, they could, uh, you know, um, discriminate because, yeah, somebody, uh, somebody got too much hair on their body or, you know what I mean? Uh, you can only wear red and white if you come in Target. Anybody that doesn't wear red and white when they come in Target, they can't come in or something about, yeah, I just heard racial profiling, but racial profiling can literally be anything, you know, because we have a lot of people now that we have to, you know, show respect to, you know, especially like the LGBTQ community and, and things of that nature. So it's kind of like, yeah, racial profiling, you know, it could be any type of racial profiling. I'm also picking up too, like, uh, yeah, a job. If there was like somebody that, um, or not if there was somebody, but um, if somebody, you know, got fired from a job or quit a job and and that that place of business, you know, was targeting somebody, somebody's about to be free, you know, of that as well. Mm hmm. Somebody, yeah, could have worked at Target, you know, and and maybe, yeah, somebody whistle blew because we saw that platform and something about, yeah, whistleblower energy. So we could possibly find out who a whistleblower is or somebody's, yeah, or there could be some whistleblowers that are about to whistleblow on some stuff. And that definitely could change the game for a lot of um, big names is what I just heard. But like on the lower level, somebody, yeah, could have, you know, like stood up, you know, for themselves when it comes to like a job. And yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, got still got fired or, you know, was wrongfully terminated or something like that. If that's the case, I feel like the, yeah. Somebody is about to uh, receive, you know, um, some type of justice for that as well. I feel like, yeah, somebody's definitely about to receive justice for something, but somebody definitely is about to receive, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, some type of prize or something. You know, when you, uh, the blue ribbon is when, like, yeah, when, when you're in a race or, you know, when, when yeah, it's, it's, it's a award. It's, it's a reward for winning. So somebody's about to receive some type of reward for winning or something like that. Mm-hmm. Why this uh whole package here? Mm-hmm. There goes that ancestor. Somebody's first letter or last name could start with an E. Somebody's definitely about to yeah, inherit uh a new spiritual gift. And it and it's coming directly from an ancestor, or yeah, they're inheriting it from their ancestor, or the fact of the matter is, somebody's about to find out like which ancestor that they inherited, you know, their spiritual gift from. Mm hmm. Somebody definitely could be in a sorority, or something about a sorority, or a fraternity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just seems like, yeah, somebody's the whole package, you know. Um, somebody got it going on physically, and somebody also got it going on spiritually. Uh, but there is, you know, somebody in the uh, spirit spirit realm that definitely, yeah, walks beside somebody all day, every day, lays beside somebody, um, watches over somebody while they, while they sleep, you know. I feel like, yeah, somebody has, uh, like, 24-hour protection is what I'm picking up. Mm-hmm. It's something about, yeah, somebody being able to talk, you know, uh, to their ancestors. It's something about um, somebody's also about to receive. So if, if somebody, like, is trying to figure out, like, you know, how am I supposed to know, you know, if my ancestors are around or how am I supposed to know, you know, when they're communicating with me, I feel like somebody's about to find it out. It's kind of like, yeah, somebody's ancestors are about to make some noise or it's or it's it's simple, you know, so it's kind of like, yeah. If somebody's light, if like one light in somebody's home like flickers on and off and, and you know, it, it's unexplainable, then that could be, yeah, somebody's uh, spirit team, somebody's ancestor trying to communicate with them, you know, or, you know, if, if something happens, you know, in somebody's car, you know, and it, and it never, and it only happens at this certain time or, you know, something like that, yeah, that could be somebody's ancestor, you know, that could uh, be trying to communicate with them. Somebody is definitely about to, if somebody, yeah, was asking, you know, like, or praying, like, God, I just want to, you know, talk to, you know, my mom, or, you know, I just want to figure out if, if, if what I'm hearing is an ancestor. Yeah, somebody's about to receive the answer. 
Um, it's also what I'm picking up. Why is this bright idea here? But it's something about, yeah, um, somebody's spiritual team is, yeah, about to communicate with them about some type of passion or some type of bright idea that they that's possibly been laying dormant in the past. Mm-hmm. It's something about, yeah, somebody, I'm also picking up too, that, yeah, if somebody um, got fired or somebody walked away from, like, a job, I feel like, yeah, somebody directly, you know, um, well, let me not use directly, but somebody knew exactly what to do. Somebody knew, you know what I'm saying, to, to pray and to have faith, you know what I mean? But it, but it's something about, yeah, somebody implementing their, their spiritual gifts, you know, and I feel like that, yeah, something has, has turned out good for somebody. Somebody definitely is receiving, uh, you know, some type of award or receiving some type of reward, you know, for, you know, immediately, you know, having faith. Because I feel like, yeah, it was supposed to cause somebody to be a basket case or it was supposed to cause somebody to go crazy, you know. Maybe, yeah, somebody not having a job, you know, it was supposed to make somebody like lose their shit. But somebody still stayed, kept it together. Somebody didn't lose their shit. Somebody knew exactly what to do. Yeah, pray. You know what I'm saying? Have faith that, you know, the Most High was going to work it out. And I feel like, yeah, the the Most High has worked it out for somebody. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody's ancestor could definitely be proud of them because, you know, they didn't, you know, turn into a basket case or they didn't wig out, you know, to where that they got locked up or to where that they went to some type of mental health facility or whatever the situation is. There definitely could be people like like a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? That could be trying to figure out how somebody, you know didn't you know turn into a basket case in the past or you know what i'm saying or it could just be yeah like past people that could be trying to figure out how somebody you know kept it together or you know how somebody you know is where they are now mm -hmm. i feel like that there definitely could be people that could be possibly yeah wanting to ask somebody for some type of advice yeah i just heard teach me so but you can't teach spiritual gifts or you can't teach you know what i mean or maybe it's yeah maybe somebody if somebody's a painter you know somebody wants to be taught how to paint or somebody you know uh is you know is a teacher maybe yeah somebody wants somebody to tutor them or something like that but when it comes to you know like i'm a firm believer that you know if we have spiritual gifts of course we have physical gifts um, and I say that all the time because everybody can't play basketball, you know, like LeBron James, you know, everybody can't play basketball like Kobe Bryant, you know, rest in peace, Kobe, you know, everybody can't play tennis like Serena, you know, everybody can't do, you know, certain things. They can play it, but they just can't play it like those. So I feel like, yeah, like those type of people, those are the ones that, you know, their physical gifts, you know what I'm saying? Are like spiritual gifts, but in the physical, if that makes sense. You know, like uh, somebody that could play, you know, 10 instruments. Some people can't even play one instrument. You know what I mean? Less knowing 10. Um, so, yeah. And so maybe that is, yeah, whoever this message is for. Like they have physical gifts and spiritual gifts. And, yeah, so with that being said, it's kind of like you can teach somebody to play basketball, but, but they're not going to be able to play basketball like you. You know what I'm saying? Saying, like, you're LeBron James. They're not going to be uh, able to play basketball like you because it's not their their their, their gift. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and But I'm also picking up, too, with something about, yeah, somebody's passion. So if somebody's not passionate about it, then it's just, you know, a hobby is what I'm picking up. So it's kind of like whatever somebody is doing, they're passionate about it. And I feel like it's about to, you know... Uh, take a step up or you know uh, it's some some stuff is about to be added to whatever this is or something else is about to come out of this so it, it could be like yeah somebody's about to birth a new idea out of the passion that they're already in or yeah somebody's just about to go to the next passion but also you know keep that the passion that they're already you know what I'm saying involved in if that makes any sense right idea one for this bright idea.
something about yeah jarring like jar you know like uh jarring vegetables um yeah but it's something about yeah saving saving money you know saving you know this will be like you like uh not eating out you know um you know not uh buying things that doesn't matter you know what i mean uh and things of that nature Mhm. Mm i'm also picking up too something about wine because this is grapes so somebody yeah but is possibly about to receive some type of um some type of uh spiritual download about uh some type of next move that they need to make or something like that but this is also too something about yeah wine so like something could have happened in the past so somebody could have put some wine something in somebody's wine or something in somebody's drink and maybe yeah people were trying to figure out how somebody you know survived it or maybe somebody knew that somebody put something in their drink it's something about yeah uh somebody making it through some stuff and people yeah are amazed you know what i mean but they're amazed that somebody's still going you know, not just making it through something, but still going. But this is also, too, something about, yeah, holding in a lot of information or something like that. Um, on the back of the card, it says hexagon. So somebody definitely could have tried to put some type of hex on somebody. Maybe somebody broke it or broke some type of curse. Yeah, I'm picking up, yeah, generational curse breaker as well. But yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, if somebody has uh, some type of idea that they have put on the back burner as, as far as like, you know, creating their own wine or something, to, you know, to do with wines or something to do with like, you know, jarring things. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, that's about to come back around for somebody. I feel like it's time for somebody to act. But somebody's ancestor definitely is protecting them. You know what I mean? Um from uh, some type of hex or something like that. I feel like, uh, or that's literally, yeah, some type of hex is broke. Or somebody has broke some type of hex or some type of curse. And yeah, somebody's ancestors is proud of them. But this, but with the ancestor out here, yeah, somebody broke some type of generational curse. This could be, you know, um, a generational curse as far as, you know, coming from a family of alcoholics. Mm-hmm. yeah so maybe somebody yeah no longer drinks alcohol you know um and people possibly are trying to figure out how somebody has done it you know what i mean or how somebody has you know broke some type of generational curse when it comes to their finances you know when it comes to you know anything you know that that yeah has been a curse somebody's ancestors are very proud of them you know for breaking some type of generational curse but continuing to do so Somebody definitely, yeah, needs to um, keep all their ideas within. It's something about, um, yeah, somebody um, keeping, you know, their business to themselves as far as, like, you know, their next moves or, you know, um, their next uh, business venture or their next, yeah, whatever it is that they're doing next. Yeah, somebody needs to keep it, you know, to themselves. But it's something about, like, something about, yeah, somebody having a lot of ideas within them. I feel like whoever this message is for, uh, I feel like the, yeah, you're, you you could be the go-to person or you could be the person that, you know, people ask for advice, you know, and I feel like that, yeah, you give good advice. There definitely could be people that could be, yeah, wanting to ask for some type of advice or, you know, wanting to, you know, ask if this is a good idea or that's a good idea. But it's also, too, some somebody definitely could be trying to bring some type of good idea somebody's way. So somebody needs to... uh you know, uh, just trust their intuition with it. Mm-hmm. Because it definitely could be a past person. Or this could be something, yeah, that somebody tried in the past and it didn't work. And now somebody's, you know, wanting to ask, you know, like, can we try it again or something like that? Yep. The communication card. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it even though it, it slid out. Mhm. Mm there definitely is about to be some type of announcement.
something about a wine cellar. So something, some type of letter, some type of letter is is from the, some type of letter. I don't know if somebody has found a letter, you know, from like the past, and 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 somebody's about to make an announcement about that, or or yeah, something about yeah, reading, because we did see that platform, but it's giving me like yeah, not not just a social media platform. Somebody can have a social media platform, whoever you know this message is for, but it's kind of like yeah, reading, saying some stuff in front of a lot of people. I don't know if this could be like a reading of a wheel. Or something like that. Somebody's name could be Will. I don't know. But it's something about, yeah, something from the past is about to lead to some type of communication. Or, or a past person wants to communicate. Maybe somebody wants to communicate about um, some type of letter um, from the past. Like I said, maybe somebody done found, um, you know, some type of letter that belongs to somebody, you know, and it's all the way from 1990 or something like that. And maybe, yeah, it's giving somebody some instructions like go to the old family house um, downstairs in the wine cellar, move the fifth wine bottle from the left to the right um, and pull it out. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm picking up hidden gems as well. Yeah, we got a dime. Something about, yeah, somebody dropping a dime. So something about somebody telling as well. Somebody definitely could be telling on somebody to, to free themselves. Somebody definitely has been keeping a lot, holding a lot in. This could be a past person. There's a past person that's going to communicate some stuff. Mm-hmm. But I'm also picking up two, because uh, I'm picking up a couple of energies. So there could be a past person who's trying to, you know, kind of like tell somebody some stuff to make them, you know, look at somebody else, you know, in a messed up way so that they could possibly uh, get in where they don't fit in. Somebody's trying to get in where they don't fit in. Mm-hmm. But something about, yeah, somebody, uh, there's a past person that possibly is uh, trying to uh, drop a dime to free themselves. But this also could be, yeah, somebody definitely could be, oh, spiritual jail or prison is also what I'm picking up. Somebody definitely could communicate, you know, that they're being free, that they're free of something. Why is this big house in the reverse? Way too many. We got the nest card in the reverse. Somebody's first murder last name could start with an N. Something about an empty nest. Something about, yeah, communication about emptying out a home or cleaning out a home. Yeah, somebody could receive some type of communication about um, like losing a job and a home or losing a business and a home or something like that. Or somebody works from home. If, if there is somebody that chose to work from home and, it, and there's an old job that somebody walked away from or got fired from, yeah, I feel like that, that job was definitely targeting somebody. Mm hmm. Somebody definitely, yeah, needs to uh, use caution. It's something about this communication. I'm also picking up too that yeah, somebody doesn't need to put all their eggs in one basket. I don't know what that means for somebody.
there is an ancestor um, that basically, yeah, or a spirit guide that is divinely guiding somebody to communicate some stuff. Give me one for this. Uh, we got the Georgia peach. Somebody could be from Georgia. Somebody could be moving. That could be, yeah. Somebody could be losing a job, losing a home, and possibly moving. But it's something about, yeah, somebody also with this Georgia peach is giving me like big booty. So somebody could have a big butt. Somebody could could like to eat peach. Something about, yeah, the peach state. But it's something about fruit as well. So I don't know if we're going to find out something about some fruit. You know, like bad fruit. Uh, fruit, you know what I mean, that's, that's getting everybody sick. Because co the color green is on this card. Something about some eggs. Le eat less protein, more fruit. Or something like that. Yeah, I just heard it ain't your it ain't your beauty, it's your booty. So I don't know if somebody's trying to flaunt their little booty around, you know, to try to get somebody's attention or, you know, that's what somebody's been using, you know what I'm saying, to get their way, but they can no longer use it to get their way or something like that. Yeah, somebody's about to have a new beginning. But it's something about, yeah, because this ancestor is giving me like a divine timing, divine intervention as well. There is somebody that has a lot that they've been uh, keeping inside. There is somebody that, yeah, they have a lot that they want to say. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's also some type of announcement that's going to be made or, you know, but I'm picking up too something about, yeah, the reading of a will. Or somebody's about to, yeah, read, you know what I'm saying, somebody, you know what I'm saying, like uh, tell somebody about themselves. Or there's somebody that's going to try to, yeah, tell somebody about somebody else. But I feel like whoever this person is is trying to tell somebody about somebody else. This person's shit stinks really, really bad. I'm also picking up, too, if somebody is choosing to move or something like that, I feel like, yeah, somebody um, somebody uh, doesn't uh, need to, like, reveal to people, you know, where they're choosing to move or, you know, um, yeah, somebody basically needs to keep certain things to themselves. Mm-hmm. Somebody, I'm also picking up too, somebody could be traveling as well. This could be, yeah, for some type of uh, business situation, but I'm going to leave it at that. I feel like it's going to go good for somebody. I feel like somebody, yeah, needs to just, you know, um, take a deep breath and, 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 yeah, get her done. I feel like somebody's going to do great, you know. This could be, yeah, somebody, yeah, traveling, you know, to the Peach State, you know, to, to yeah. And I feel like it's, it's going to go good. And whoever, you know, that resonates with, just know, um, you don't have anything to worry about. I feel like it's going to go great. Mm-hmm. Somebody, uh, I'm, somebody's name could be Sherry. Yeah, so while somebody's out here uh, using their spiritual gifts and things of that nature, you know, there's somebody else that's using, you know, their assets. Their beauty. I mean, not beauty. Their booty. You know what I mean? Somebody yeah, could be uh, with that nest in reverse. There could be somebody that could be uh, losing their, their kids. It's something about, yeah, uh, somebody doing the most out here. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody trying to race somebody or, or yeah, because, you know, Blue Ribbons, it's a competition as well. 
So somebody definitely could have been trying to compete where they can't compare. It's also what I'm picking up from somebody else. Yeah. Somebody's washed up. Somebody's a has been is what I just heard. I feel like, yeah, that's literally all somebody has is, is their butt. Or, you know what I'm saying? This could be somebody that definitely could have gotten some type of plastic surgery. Somebody, yeah. But I'm also picking up two. I don't even know why we're talking about this. But there is somebody, yeah, their body, they were born banging. You know what I'm saying? They were born with a, with a great body. They don't need no plastic surgery. Somebody definitely, yeah, could be uh, trying to go get plastic surgery, yeah, to compete with somebody. And, yeah, I feel like it could be botched or something could go wrong. Somebody, yeah, could lose everything trying to, yeah, go get surgery or something like that. This is crazy. Mm -mm. Why is this uh, ancestor here? Yeah, it says all must have prizes. <clears throat> so somebody possibly, yeah, was trying to win somebody else's prize or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's something shiny in that person's hand. So something shiny. But look how devious that little whatever that is looks like. Mm -hmm. It says trying to please everyone. So yeah, somebody. So there is somebody that's trying to please everyone out here by, yeah flaunting their 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 assets or you know what I'm saying uh yeah I feel like doing the most and I feel like yeah somebody is about to yeah be sat down but somebody yeah somebody's about to re yeah somebody I feel like somebody's already got the prize mm-hmm or somebody's about to receive you know the prize But something about, yeah, somebody trying to please not just everyone, but those that they think is looking at them. So if, like, this is a woman, yeah, they went to go get plastic surgery, you know, to try to please men. Possibly to please, um, to please a certain man. That, there could be a man that could be looking at, yeah, a divine feminine, you know, in a, in a certain way. Looking at a divine feminine like the prize, you know what I mean? There's somebody else that's trying to be looked at as the prize, but they're they're not the prize. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody, there's a possibly a feminine energy or a masculine energy out here that has dig, dig, dignity, dignity and respect. And there is a, a, a masculine energy or a feminine energy that don't, but they think that they're the prize. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely, yeah, is trying to put somebody in a jar. I'm also picking up two. Somebody got a lot of bodies. I don't know what that means. This could be sexually or something else. But moving on. Yeah, it says, who in the world are you? So somebody, somebody wants to get to know the new version of somebody. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, something about, yeah. Somebody has made some type of full transformation. And so, yeah, people are noticing that somebody is not the past version of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so somebody's the winner. It's kind of like, yeah, there could be a lot of people that could be looking at somebody in that way. Maybe somebody only, maybe people only looked at somebody, you know, when somebody turned around, you know what I mean? But somebody wasn't trying to flaunt that. I feel like, yeah, the person that, yeah, was born with that banging body... I feel like, yeah, maybe people, you know, um, just looked somebody looked at somebody in that way or something like that. Um, and maybe they, yeah, they possibly wasn't even paying attention to what was within somebody. And But I feel like, yeah, what was what's within somebody is showing on the outside now. And people can't help but to, yeah, notice it. But it's somebody else out here, you know, the washed up, no dignity, no pride having ass. Uh, that's the one that, yeah, they don't, what's, what's in the inside is on the outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing too special about this person. And I'm not trying to talk about this person in a bad way, but I feel like that whoever this is, they don't think too highly of themselves. So why would other people think too highly of them? All they think about, yeah, is, is flaunting they, they, they booze and they booty. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. So there's somebody or some people, yeah, that are trying to get to know the new version. 
of somebody. There's one, um, there's one that, yeah, possibly was trying to please everyone when they chose somebody else. And this could be, yeah, the person that thinks that they're the prize. This, somebody could have chose somebody because, yeah, it's, it's, it's their, their, their booty, not their beauty, you know? But somebody, yeah, has noticed that somebody has changed quickly. It says changed in the night at the bottom of the deck. So something could definitely change overnight. Not, you know, I feel like somebody has gone through a full transformation. Um, but something about, yeah, some type of communication coming in that changes something quickly. So something could change like overnight or something about, um, yeah, some type of communication that somebody is going to have is going to like change something like overnight or like quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says you can't go back to yesterday, be in the present. So it's something about the past. So it's kind of like going back to what I said about, yeah, forgiving and forgetting. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, yeah, somebody has passed some, some type of test is what I'm picking up. Somebody, a pa not just passed some type of test, passed another test, uh, learned another lesson, or you know what I'm saying, has, yeah, shown that they have learned some type of lesson or something like that. Uh, yeah, and we have nonsense, so it's time to talk sense. So yeah, something about yeah, somebody talking sense or something about uh yeah, somebody possibly wanting to yeah, talk, speak up and and talk like they got some sense or something like that. But it's also too kind of like yeah, people could have looked at somebody in the past like that somebody was a basket case, you know, somebody was just uh in the wind or you know what I'm saying, whatever the situation is. Yeah, I just heard two sheets in the wind. So somebody definitely could have drunk a lot in the past. Or did or overindulged in uh, some stuff in the past, you know what I mean? But it's kind of like, yeah, people definitely could be seeing, yeah, somebody that has fully transformed. And, yeah, people are going to have to get to know the new version of somebody. And people and those that have already come in contact with the new version of somebody, I feel like, yeah, they're, 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 they're mesmerized or they're amazed or they're going to be. Mm hmm Somebody can no longer cover up their errors or something like that. But it's also too something about, yeah, even though somebody has transformed, yeah, somebody still knows, you know what I'm saying, that, yeah, I was that person, you know what I mean? But it's kind of like, you know, when, when, when people transform, you know, they're, they're supposed to, you know, kind of look back at that past person just to, you know what I'm saying, be able to see how far that they have come. And so, yeah, those that are, you know, grateful and thankful for the transformation, they're the ones that are going to be like, yeah, I changed, but yeah, I was that person, you know what I mean? So, so it could be used as a testimony. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's no uh, testimony without a test is what I just heard. Yeah, and it's something about, yeah, somebody's choices. And, and this choices card is a number six. So, somebody possibly could have to make some type of choice, but something about some choices that somebody, you know, decided to take in the past or decided to make in the past. Mm-hmm. Something about, yeah, somebody's choices and decisions possibly has caused them to feel blocked or restrained or something about, yeah, people, you know, betting that somebody is gonna you know make some type of choice or decision you know to to block them or restrain them from so or the fact of the matter is yeah that's possibly what somebody did in the past and so yeah people could be looking at somebody like dang but it's also too something about yeah some type of past communication or some or 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 a past person possibly trying to wants to communicate with somebody mm-hmm so it's kind of like, yeah, somebody or some people wanting some type of advice or something for somebody. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have lead the way. It says, be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. So I feel like, that, yeah, that's where somebody is in their life at this time. But it's, yeah, a big, a big portion of being, of leading the way and being a leader and showing others how it's done. It's, yeah, somebody using their spiritual gifts to do it. Mm-hmm.
Wow, but somebody's choices, yeah. Possibly has caused them to lose. I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to trust their intuition when whatever this communication comes in for somebody. Because I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely is going to receive some communication. Um, I feel like somebody's trying to get out of something. Or somebody's about to find out that somebody's done got out of something. Maybe somebody don't know that somebody done got out of something. Maybe somebody thinks that somebody's still in the hospital or that somebody's still in a mental health facility or, you know, but it's also too. Um, it's also too, uh, yeah, somebody, the choices that somebody possibly made, this could be a past person or something about the past. Yeah, it's caused somebody to, to, to yeah, take a L or a big L. And so maybe, yeah, that's what somebody wants to, you know, uh, communicate about it's something about yeah talking some sense it's something about yeah something being nonsense so some stuff took place in the past that was nonsense and i feel like yeah it's time for somebody to talk some sense or somebody knows it's time to talk some sense yeah but somebody also needs to remember to not to drink the poison do not do things you know are bad for you So I definitely was picking up on, um, yeah, somebody putting somebody something in somebody's drink. Somebody possibly, yeah, it or that's literally what could have taken place in the past. So somebody was trying to please everyone, and so they could have done something. Or the fact of the matter is, that's literally what somebody could be possibly planning to do. You know what I'm saying? Try to ask somebody out. You know, do you still drink wine? You know, with this uh, bright idea, uh, yeah. So somebody needs to be aware. But it's something about, yeah, not drinking poison nor eating poison. But something about, yeah, somebody's choice to poison somebody has basically backfired. It's something about, yeah, somebody trying to poison somebody so that somebody wouldn't be able to use their spiritual gifts. Somebody needs to w never trust a big button to smile. That girl is poison. Ooh, so that's what it is. So somebody, yeah, made a choice to get involved with somebody with a big button to smile. I feel like somebody needs to be aware. But it's also too somebody possibly yeah is gonna find out some information. Mm-hmm. Somebody, yeah, but somebody there definitely could be somebody that could be trying to poison somebody with spiritual gifts. Or somebody is receiving some really bad karma for trying to do that in the past is also what I'm picking up. In in whatever way that they try to poison somebody. This could be, yeah, just poison somebody with, you know, toxic talk or, you know, projecting negative energy on somebody. Or this literally could be, yeah, putting something in somebody's food or drink. But it's something about, too, yeah, green tea, peach tea, something about green tea, peach tea. The color green is very significant. The colors green and blue is very uh, heavy in this uh, in this message. Y'all see how that cat is are, is already drowning in the poison? So something about somebody's vagina. So somebody's cat is poison. Yeah, cat and booty. Booty, cat. Mm -mm. It says clock time, so yeah, divine timing. But something about, yeah, somebody uh, in a rush or, yeah, somebody feeling pressured or something like that. I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, somebody doesn't need to rush into anything. Uh, somebody basically, yeah, needs to continue to, you know, follow divine timing. But somebody definitely could be, yeah, trying. somebody definitely needs to just be aware because somebody definitely could be trying to do something. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody's trying to not have, get some type of time. Because on this clock time, it says time. Mm 
But it's also too somebody possibly is realizing that yeah, they uh, they did some things that they know that were bad for them, or they got involved with people that they knew were bad for them. Mm-hmm. And somebody possibly yeah could be getting some time, but it's also too something about yeah somebody need to be needs to yeah pay attention to their surroundings because it could be past people that somebody knows that they're that that is bad for them that could be trying to come back around or something like that. And it could be, yeah. Um, yeah, to possibly cause somebody to lose everything. But I really feel like that's going on for somebody. That could be the person that wants to communicate with somebody. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, somebody... Um, Somebody possibly, yeah, it's 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 somebody else that's going through this or that has gone through this, but somebody needs to just yeah be aware because I feel like that there is somebody that's uh plotting on somebody. Yo. We have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Emperor. Somebody could be 45 years old, 54 years old. Some, somebody's life path number could be the number five or the number four. But the four and five breaks down to a nine. So something is ending. Mm -hmm. So somebody's Emperor. It's something about, yeah, somebody's Emperor has changed or something like that. So I feel like yeah, somebody it's time for somebody to talk sense or something. It, it, they know it's time for them to talk sense. It could be somebody's emperor, so Aries energy. But I'm also picking up too, yeah, something about a boss. Mhm. Mm so somebody's ex boss or somebody's boss could want to communicate or something about yeah, somebody's father as well. I feel like yeah, this poison card it's really sticking out to me. So I feel like somebody definitely needs to you know be aware. But I feel like. Somebody has already came to realization that while they're feeling blocked or while, why, you know what I'm saying, they're feeling restrained. And it's something about, yeah, their choices in the past and them, yeah, drinking the poison or them getting involved, you know, with, with uh, bad people and doing bad things. Yep, we got the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. So somebody definitely does feel trapped, feel, feel restrained. But yeah, somebody trying to please everyone is why they done got locked up or why they're feeling restrained. But it's also too something about, yeah, it's time for somebody to get locked up. So there definitely is somebody that's trying to not get locked up. So I feel like somebody needs to, yeah, just pay attention. Mm-hmm. But it's also too somebody possibly, yeah, was trying to get somebody locked up. Mm -hmm. But there's no proof with this eight of ace of wands in the reverse. But it's something about yeah, somebody not passionate or somebody not having a passion or something about yeah, somebody trying to put somebody's fire out. When it comes to like yeah, what they're passionate about, or maybe that's how somebody feels like yeah, their fire is out. We have King, uh, the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, passion. Mm hmm. So, yeah, somebody, somebody doesn't have passion or something about, um, yeah, somebody not feeling the same for somebody. But with this Knight of Wands in the reverse, this also gives me like, um, yeah, somebody restraining themselves from having uh, sexual intercourse. Mm hmm. Wow. So somebody could be abstinent, somebody could be celibate. While somebody else is loose as a goose, don't get them started. Yeah, we got an eight of cups. So, yeah, somebody's done walked away um, from, yeah, a lot of stuff that possibly has blocked them or restrained them. You know, people, places, things. Yeah, the past, pretty much. 
somebody definitely yeah could have walked away from a weak ass job that was that yeah is possibly trying to target them but i feel like that yeah uh whoever this job is that boss or whoever yeah uh, their time has come clock time i feel like yeah everybody's time has come so but i'm also picking up too yeah this definitely could be a test either it's a test like a new test or somebody has already passed the test and somebody's about to receive yeah you know some type of reward for passing the test yeah somebody's going towards you know their happiness somebody's going towards you know uh yeah what serves their highest good mm -hmm. but somebody definitely needs to be aware because there definitely could be somebody that's trying to come towards somebody that could be trying to poison them and whatever this could be like physically this could be spiritually yeah i feel like somebody could be spiritually sick like have some type of spiritual trans um spiritually transmitted disease or something like that but we have the hermit so this is like a ghost so it's all about yeah somebody that ghosted somebody possibly is trying to come back towards somebody's way but it's also too yeah the her hermit is also the doctor So somebody yeah could go to the doctor it's about their kitty or their booty or something about um yeah somebody uh getting plastic surgery or something like that i don't know but so if that's the case then yeah somebody loses everything trying to pay for plastic surgery only to get a botched plastic surgery or only for something to happen so it's kind of like yeah somebody goes to the doctor somebody's trying to wait for some news about a doctor and uh, from a doctor and they find out that yeah they have poison or something in their in their bloodstream this is the same person that yeah wanted to compete mm -hmm. but it's something about yeah with this hermit and the spiritual gift somebody definitely could be a healer but it's something about yeah some information being brought to somebody uh to be able to move forward with the chariot somebody definitely yeah could go to the to the hospital because this chariot and the hermit is giving me like yeah somebody rushed to the hospital in a um ambulance or something like that yeah we have the king of swords so somebody definitely is about to tell some truth or some truth is about to yeah be revealed to somebody or it's time for uh somebody to talk sense so there is somebody that possibly has been talking nonsense for a very long time um that definitely yeah could want to talk some sense now but I feel like it's possibly because, yeah, they done drunk some poison or, you know, somebody done, yeah, went and got plastic surgery and, you know, they, they don't know if they're going to make it or, you know, whatever the situation is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody could be licking green stuff out of somewhere. Something about, yeah, somebody could be throwing up or sick to their stomach or... Yeah, but it's also too something about yeah, somebody could yeah, their stomach could be queasy because they could find out that they possibly yeah are getting time, they're getting locked up or something like that. Somebody definitely could be trying to yeah run as well. So somebody could possibly try to go on the run is also what I'm picking up. We have the lovers in the reverse. So yeah, there's a karmic out here. Somebody was in a karmic relationship. So it goes back to yeah, somebody walking away. You know what I'm saying from feeling blocked or restrained. Somebody's walking away from some type of toxic relationship that they possibly yeah felt poisoned in. Or yeah, there's a there's a there's a karmic yeah that's walking around poisoning people or something like that. Or there's a, a karmic that's walking around with poison in their bloodstream. Or their kitty cat is leaking green shit. Or their booty is leaking green shit. I don't know, and they about to get locked up, or it's all type of stuff, so maybe that's why somebody wants to talk sense now, because they got a lot of stuff going on, and, and it seems like they can't afford to be locked up, but guess what, they did the, 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 the crime, they got to do the time. Yeah, we got the five of cups. Somebody's embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Somebody also wasted a lot of time. Now they feel like that they're in a rush or something about, yeah, somebody definitely needs to be aware. You know what I'm saying? Uh, somebody definitely um, needs to uh, not rush something or, you know, 
uh, don't allow somebody to pressure you or, you know, get you to do something, yeah, that you're not supposed to do or that you know that you're not supposed to do. But somebody definitely is embarrassed now because, yeah, uh, they basically, yeah, they done drunk some poison and it don't have to necessarily be physically. It could just be, yeah, they chose a karmic and, you know, and yeah, the karmic came with a lot of bullshit or, you know, they chose, you know, um, a superficial individual instead of a real individual or something like that. Maybe that's what somebody wants to tell somebody. Yeah, it's time to talk nonsense. Somebody could be a gamer. Somebody could be a bouncer. Or somebody just played a lot of games, you know, uh, lived, you know, the club life or lived a nightlife. Or something about, yeah, somebody playing games with a bouncer. So somebody could find out that their karmic was playing games with a bouncer or something about, yeah, the club. So maybe, yeah, maybe somebody just got a... Uh, Plastic surgery, you know, to, yeah, uh, to live the nightlife so that people would look at them or whatever. But, yeah, something about, yeah, somebody being heartbroken. Maybe that's why somebody chose to go um, change their whole body and, and possibly, yeah, uh, be on the verge of passing away behind, you know what I'm saying, some botched surgery or whatever the situation is. That, uh, that big house in the reverse, it's kind of like, yeah, in somebody's basement or something like that. Somebody, yeah, could have went and got some plastic surgery up in somebody's basement or from a non-certified doctor or something like that. We got Goodwill. Donations. Somebody definitely, yeah, could have used some money in the wrong way. So it's kind of like, yeah... Somebody, for instance, somebody could have, yeah, used a GoFundMe, you know, made a fraudulent GoFundMe just to get donations, just to pay for plastic surgery. It's time for somebody's karma or people's karma. Yeah. Mm hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody needing some stuff. So, somebody, yeah, somebody was impatient. And so I feel like that, yeah, somebody done done some dumb stuff in the past. Mm-hmm. Somebody's about to be locked up. I, I said somebody's name could be Will. Look, it says Good Will. Will or William. Something, yeah, something about, yeah, somebody being embarrassed. But it's something about, too, yeah, somebody's about to get locked up for using some money in a way that they, yeah, basically, yeah, scamming people is what I'm picking up. If you, if you get a GoFundMe and it's, and, and, or, you know, whatever this is, yeah, trying to get people to feel sorry for you to give you money, yeah, it's scamming. Or if, if, cause this Eight of Swords is also saying that somebody's locked up. I mean, we got the Eight of Swords, but then we have the good big house in the reverse. It's, I feel like, yeah, somebody, if, it, if it's not like, you know, making a GoFundMe or whatever. It could be like, yeah, somebody just uh, using people, you know, to get money. Possibly, yeah, to give it to, you know, uh, a superficial um, karmic that, that, yeah, is possibly sick or something like that. But it's something about, yeah, somebody being impatient as well. So that could be another reason why somebody, yeah, could have been using people for money because they were impatient. But it's something about the past. impatient you know i know this says impatient but i'm getting like in impatient like uh in, impatient um surgery or you know like being uh admitted you know into the hospital so somebody yeah could be being admitted into the hospital but it's something about yeah somebody um my mom also picking up too. Yeah, if somebody, you know, was planning on going, to, you know, to get plastic surgery, I feel like, yeah, somebody definitely, somebody's ancestors is like, nah, you ain't doing that. Or somebody's ancestor definitely could be trying to, you know, get their attention. It's kind of like, yeah, somebody don't need plastic surgery. Somebody, yeah, their body is banging. Like, why would somebody need, yeah, no. No. Mm-hmm. 
But we got vaccinated. So, yeah, something about some shots, butt shots. But something about, yeah, somebody having to get some type of shot because, yeah, of some type of green stuff. But somebody definitely, yeah, could have gotten some type of shot in their booty and now it's leaking green stuff or something like that. Somebody definitely is embarrassed. So somebody got something out here. Somebody got something out here. Somebody possibly, yeah, is embarrassed because maybe they got something out here. Or maybe somebody uh, is embarrassed because they lied and said, you know what I'm saying, that somebody got something. But they really don't. Yeah, somebody broke. Mm-hmm. I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, somebody needs to be aware. Again, going back to, yeah, somebody just trying to fill somebody's head with some foolishness. I feel like somebody, yeah, needs to tell that person to get on before they get spit on. Because I feel like whoever that person is, they're trying to get in where they don't fit in. Somebody, yeah, is also embarrassed, too, because, yeah, basically they were using people because, yeah, they were impatient and they were broke. So it's something about, yeah, somebody being impatient, not, you know what I'm saying, trusting their intuition or not using, you know what I'm saying, their gifts, that their God-given gifts, you know what I'm saying, to create, you know, uh, some type of finances. But it's also, too, yeah, somebody definitely is walking away, you know what I'm saying, from, uh, you know, like a poverty lifestyle or somebody has already walked away, you know what I'm saying? It's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody tr possibly trying to get somebody involved because they're impatient when it comes to finances. I feel like, yeah, somebody don't need no finances. Somebody is straight. But there's somebody that, yeah, is having financial issues that possibly, yeah, is going to try to bring some type of bright idea to somebody. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to trust their intuition. Yeah, somebody could be a gamer. But it's also, too, something about, um, yeah, somebody playing games. And look, we got freaky. Mm -mm. So I don't know. I'm also picking up too. Yeah, somebody um somebody needs to be aware of somebody. Cause this person this person um could definitely be, uh, yeah, looking at somebody, you know, in a sexual way, but trying to act like that they not looking at somebody in a sexual way. We have athletic, so somebody could be athletic. Somebody could have an athletic build. So, yeah, somebody was blessed with, you know what I'm saying, a banging body. Mm-hmm. So there's no reason why, yeah, somebody needs to um, get plastic surgery. But somebody definitely is in love. So I feel like, the yeah, somebody's in love with somebody's body. Somebody's in love with somebody's um, uh, mentality when it comes to, yeah, like their, their mindset. Somebody's in love. But somebody, yeah, basically did some stuff, you know, out of being... Impatient or something like that is what I'm picking up. Including, yeah, choosing somebody that's leaking out of their butt or their 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 cootie cat or whatever the freak's going on with somebody. But somebody definitely is in love. But there's also, yeah, somebody could find out that there's an athlete or somebody that's in that somebody's in love with or something about yeah. Somebody could find out that the person that karmic that they were with or something like that definitely uh was involved with somebody and, and yeah. I don't know. It's something about, yeah, somebody having to, to get some shot. Or the fact of the matter is, yeah, that's what somebody was doing, using people, you know what I'm saying, to get money so that they can get some butt shots or get whatever. I don't know what this is, y'all. This is crazy as hell. Yeah, we got gynecologists. So something about, yeah, a doctor. But some yeah, something going on with somebody's um yeah down bottom. Or yeah, I feel like that somebody needs to um, you know, be patient. So it's kinda like, yeah, somebody could meet somebody, you know what I'm saying? And and, and they could be, you know, um yeah, like 
great on the eye. You know what I mean? Their body could be banging, you know, all that good stuff. But they poison, something about them ain't right. So somebody needs to be patient, but it's also too, yeah, somebody, yeah, because somebody was broke, somebody done did some stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody definitely, yeah, they gonna have to go to the gynecologist, but it's also too something about, yeah, somebody, um, oh, somebody definitely could have had a baby is also what I'm picking up. So somebody could have gained a lot of weight. So somebody's trying to, trying to do some stuff to please somebody or some people, but I feel like, yeah, it's gonna backfire, uh, cause this love handles is here. So that could be why somebody's getting, um, uh, surgery. But I mean, everybody got a little love handle or two. Mm-hmm. But something about, yeah, somebody being a germaphobe or somebody scared to go to the hospital or something like that. So I don't know if somebody's going to get some, some surgery, you know what I'm saying? Again, in somebody's basement or something like that. Or it could also be, yeah, like somebody don't want to go to the, to, the, to the hospital. They don't want to go to the real clinic because they're embarrassed. So, yeah, they could go uh, to, you know, like a... Uh, uh, a doctor, that somebody that says that they're a doctor in their basement or something like that. I don't know. But there's also, yeah, people that definitely were lying on somebody. And so I feel like, yeah, those people are definitely having to eat their words. Or it could be whoever this karmic is lying on, you know, somebody that's the whole package because, yeah, they're, you know, um, yeah, they're the ones that don't have no dignity and no pride. We got Starbucks. So somebody could uh, like to drink Starbucks. Or something about, yeah, coffee. Somebody drinks alcohol in when they wake up in the morning. Mm-hmm. But something about, yeah, because, you know, coffee, they, coffee makes people's stomach hurt, some people. So somebody could go to the gynecologist or something because or to the doctor because of their uh they're having stomach problems. But something could happen, you know, like somebody could find out that they're pregnant or, you know, or this could be yeah. Somebody's stomach problems is because yeah, they got some stuff going on down bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this is also star books. So somebody yeah, is is using stars to get some money. Or, you know what I'm saying, is, 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 yeah, using people to get money. Or that's what happened in the past. And, yeah, I feel like whatever happened in the past, it's, 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 uh, it's something is happening in the present. Yeah, we got handcuffs. So somebody's broken in handcuffs or something like that. So somebody, yeah, found themselves leaking from the vagina or the booty. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, rope and in handcuffs or something like that or the fact of the matter is somebody just is real yeah is, is uh reminiscing on you know the choices and decisions that they made you know in the past with people and they're possibly yeah also reminiscing about them basically yeah breaking somebody's heart or doing choosing all this over you know somebody that's the whole package that they're basically realizing that they're in love with so it's kind of like yeah People, somebody was ple trying to please everyone else. So people were saying that somebody was broke, that somebody, you know what I'm saying, they don't have, you know, a big booty or big boobs or whatever the situation is. Yeah, they, they, they um, you need to, they need to get a shot or you need to get a shot because uh, they leaking down bottom or whatever the situation is. And I feel like, the, yeah, somebody is basically realizing that they're in love with that person. They're not in love with the person that they possibly chose because, yeah, they're finding out that that person don't have no dignity and no pride. Yeah, somebody's broke because they they are yeah superficial. They 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 broke, you know, going by G, going by because I just saw Yeezys. Y'all know Yeezy, Yeezys ain't cheap. You know what I'm saying? Going broke buying Starbucks every day, buying Yeezys. Uh, yeah, plastic surgery, and and I feel like the yeah whoever whoever this person is, um. Whoever this person is, 
uh, the person that possibly yeah, is reminiscing or you know what I'm saying whatever they're doing I feel like that uh, yeah this person possibly could have given this person money to do to pay bills you know what I'm saying yeah to pay your rent you know what I mean to pay your car note or you know what I'm saying to yeah get your business started or whatever the situation is so yeah somebody's basically finding out that somebody don't have no passion but I feel like yeah somebody was manipulated to believe that yeah whoever this whole package is uh, they didn't have no passion or you know what I'm saying it's something about yeah somebody being led to believe that somebody was a nobody and the the person that they picked was a somebody which everybody is a somebody but y'all know what I'm saying yeah Red Bull gives you wings so somebody yeah they gonna drink they Red Bull and and they gonna uh, yeah think that they or something about yeah somebody yeah floating all the way to heaven and then we have explosive diarrhea so I don't know something about yeah somebody's stomach somebody yeah somebody somebody is intimidating or something about yeah somebody trying to intimidate so it goes back to yeah uh, somebody trying to target somebody but it's also too yeah somebody thinks that them going to get plastic surgery and them um, you know what I'm saying uh, going being a people pleaser is intimidating to somebody that's the whole package no. Some, we got motivational speakers, so that's the energy that I was picking up on. Somebody speaking. Mm-hmm. But it's also, too, something about, yeah, somebody, yeah, motivating people, you know what I'm saying, to, to, uh, to get their stuff together, you know what I'm saying, motivating people to be patient, motivating people, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to trust in, you know, the process that the Most High has for them is also what I'm picking up. Somebody definitely could be in love with a doctor or something about, um, yeah, somebody possibly meeting a doctor and it could be at Starbucks and they could have some type of conversation and yeah, that could be that. It's not about, yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, we have heartbroken. I feel like, yeah, somebody's uh, somebody's about to be heartbroken or somebody, yeah, uh, broke somebody's heart or something like that. I'm also picking up, too, that, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, uh, it's time to talk sense or something about, yeah, somebody, whatever this bright idea is that's about to be brought to somebody I feel like it definitely has something to do with yeah somebody you know telling their story or yeah telling their testimony or something like that or something about yeah a motivation somebody becoming a motivational speaker or something like that but it's also too something about yeah somebody um possibly yeah thinking that they're going to waltz back up in somebody's life and they're going to be heartbroken because, yeah, somebody's going to be in love or somebody's going to be in a relationship or somebody's already in a relationship. I'm also picking up too. Yeah, there definitely could be somebody that yeah, they uh, go for you know um, those that you know their pockets you know their bank accounts are really big. But again, that ain't they don't have nothing to do with who they are on the inside. So somebody done got duped or people done got duped out here. But we have a sore loser. So somebody's in love with a sore loser or somebody's heartbroken. Or they're going to be, because, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, is going to come up on, you know, somebody that loves them, loves everything about them. They're definitely going to be, yeah, somebody that, um, that, um, yeah, somebody's ancestor is kind of like either bringing to them or, yeah, somebody's being guided to this person. But it's not about, yeah, somebody trying to keep somebody stuck. Or somebody wanting somebody to get stuck or something like that. Or somebody doesn't want somebody to, yeah, have this moment or something like that. 
Yes, but somebody's also, yeah, walking away from somebody that, yeah, uh, talks the talk, but they can't walk the walk. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with somebody's body, but what I do know is it ain't good. But somebody's a sore loser out here. Somebody's embarrassed. Yeah, because whoever this person is, they possibly, yeah, are, figure, are basically realizing that they're in love with the person that, yeah, they try to act like that they weren't in love with or something like that. But it's also, too, yeah, something about somebody, uh, whoever this sore loser is, the one they thought that they could compete, but they could, but they can't compare. Yeah, I feel like somebody's embarrassed to buy that because yeah, it's kind of like some stuff is somebody's yeah finding some stuff out about this person. This could be the yeah, this person done slept with every doctor, every motivational speaker, every athlete, every rapper, or you know what I'm saying, not every, but because it's something about yeah bodies. Remember, I picked up on that bodies energy. Mm-hmm. Somebody yeah, don't need to have any type of sexual dealings with any past people. For sure. Yeah, somebody's first middle or last name could start with an A. But yeah, somebody somebody definitely misjudged somebody for sure. Mm-hmm. And with this uh ancestor card, with this uh all must have prizes card, yeah, it's something about um yeah, somebody comes from, you know, a good bloodline or you know what I'm saying, a good family is also what I'm picking up. Yep. Somebody also put somebody in an unsafe situation in the past and they're being haunted by it. So I feel like that that's what somebody, you know, was trying to figure out if somebody remembers or you know what I'm saying? And, and remember, I said it, it, evidently it's 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 got to be something big for somebody to be wondering if somebody um, uh, you know still remembers it. But it's also too somebody definitely could have could could have been trying to use somebody's secrets against them, or that's what somebody's trying to do is use somebody's secrets against them. So whatever the secrets are, this could be yeah maybe somebody did have you know um, a STD in the past or you know maybe somebody you know did get pregnant in the past and something happened or you know maybe somebody yeah has some type of stomach issues where they have explosive diarrhea or it's all about yeah whatever these secrets are it's 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 normal it's not like you know stuff that never happens to people it's it's normal stuff you know gynecologists everybody goes to the gynecologist um. You know, um, if, if somebody yeah, is trying to say that they got multiple bodies, uh, you know, most people, they do have, you know, uh, multiple people that they've possibly had sex with. You know what I'm saying? But it's something about, yeah, that not fading somebody or that not phasing somebody or that not, yeah, because somebody is the new version of them. So what does the past matter? Mm-hmm. But it also could be, yeah, like uh, whoever that karmic is because they... Because they, you know what I'm saying, are in some type of position. Yeah, they could be trying to use somebody's um, secrets against them. But if that's the case, then it's kind of like, if this is a karmic of somebody's ex, how did this person get somebody's um, secrets or somebody's information? So maybe that's what it's, what. so that's, yeah, what needs to be said. Something about, yeah, it's time to talk sense. So something is nonsense or some, or whatever it took place was nonsense. And yeah, it's time for somebody to talk sense. Somebody could be seeing the angel number 4444. It says, good times are ahead. Success. Keep the faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spiritual shakeup is at the bottom of the deck. So, there is a spiritual shakeup that's about to take place. And we do have that spiritual gift out here. Yeah, we have a delusional karmic thinking that they're the whole package. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And so, yeah, I feel like somebody's ancestor uh, got something in store for whoever this delusional karmic is. Um, whether it be a masculine or feminine energy. They think that they're the whole package. But it's something about, yeah, this. so this could be the person that was trying to use somebody's secrets against them. This is the person, um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I feel like, yeah, whoever this delusional karmic is, yeah, they're delusional because they possibly are trying to bury the hatchet when it comes to, yeah, some some past stuff. But I feel like whoever this person is, uh, they're trying to get out of something. They're trying to not go somewhere, get locked up, or whatever the situation is. So somebody definitely needs to uh, be aware. Mm-hmm. It's something about, yeah, somebody, um, uh, somebody trying to find uh, somebody's weakness as well. And yeah, we got a father out here. So somebody's father is involved or somebody's baby father or something about, yeah. Um, yeah, if somebody's father passed away, that's who's all around somebody. That's who's, um, you know what I'm saying, protecting somebody 24-7. But it's also too, yeah, somebody possibly could try to use their somebody's father because that could be somebody's weakness. So somebody definitely needs to be aware of that. But whoever this person is, yeah, they're a couch potato. So, I feel like whoever this person is, yeah, they ain't got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. This person, yeah, while they, while they, the, yeah, walking around being delusional like that they're the whole package. Yeah, this is, so this is somebody that, yeah, they be a couch potato, you know what I'm saying, on their phone. Um, basically, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, surfing the web, you know, finding people to take advantage of and yada yada and blase blase. If somebody's father has passed away, yeah, somebody's father, you know, is passing something down. This could be like a spiritual inheritance, which it could manifest on the physical. But yeah, there's some type of incriminating evidence that's been found. And so with that being said, that's why somebody don't want to. Um, yeah, that's why somebody wants to bury the hatchet. They're trying to get close to somebody. So somebody needs to be very, very aware because whoever this person is, they don't want to get locked up. Mm hmm. The fact of the matter is, yeah, whoever this is or whoever these people are, because I feel like it's more than just this delusional karmic. Yeah, uh, whoever this message is for, you're self-made. You, you know what I'm saying? You're focusing on self-love. You're focused on your self-love. I mean, worth. You're, yeah, you're self-reliant. All self-everything. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like that whoever this person is, I mean, at the end of the day, they've been delusional to think that you weren't the whole package. I feel like whoever this person is, they try to make you them and them you if that makes sense but i feel like yeah everybody's seeing you know the truth of the matter and maybe yeah in the past uh somebody yeah was um you know what i'm saying a little bit out there you know everybody has a past but somebody yeah has 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 left their past in the past and is is going towards happiness mm-hmm and something about yeah whoever this person is they they got something going on with their body but yeah, a leopard can't change his spots. So somebody basically needs to know that, yeah, this person, they haven't changed. I don't know what that means to somebody, but they haven't changed. And whoever this person is, yeah, they're a control freak. They're trying to control something. They're trying to control, uh, yeah, possibly trying to, yeah, mind freak somebody so that, yeah, they won't get locked up. Or it's something about, yeah, this person not wanting to go somewhere or not, yeah. Not wanting to be held accountable for some stuff. But this person's obsession with how people views them has them looking like an idiot. Because, yeah, people are viewing them in a bad way. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, yeah, this is the person that possibly, yeah, was trying to use somebody's secrets against somebody. But there's also, there's somebody that definitely, yeah, does want to own up to some type of mistakes. So it goes back to, yeah, somebody um, knowing that everything is nonsense, wanting to talk sense now. But but if somebody's only owning up to their mistakes, it's because, yeah, they possibly could be getting locked up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Somebody also wants to own up to their mistakes when it came to them running from their problems. So I feel like, yeah, whoever this person is that, yeah, chose to run from their problems, yeah, they, they, yeah, their problems became their, yeah, if it was one problem, it became, you know, a bi uh, one big problem or it became, you know, uh, a hundred problems, 99 problems, but whoever, you know, this message is for, you ain't one of them. So somebody, yeah, wants to admit that they were running from their problems. So I feel like it could be this delusional karmic that, yeah, was one of their problems. 
like I said, I feel like it's multiple energies that's involved. Yep, so somebody definitely needs to stay focused on their goals. And somebody definitely needs to establish firm boundaries because uh, somebody definitely is trying to find uh, somebody's weakness. This is somebody that, yeah, they're trying to control somebody or they're trying to, yeah. But I feel like that they're they're trying to control the wrong person. I feel like, yeah, somebody has already learned some lessons. Somebody has already, yeah, somebody possibly, yeah, because these are past people. So, yeah, somebody's already walked away from these people. But, of course, we're Mercury retrograde. So, with that being said, yeah, these people think that, yeah, somebody is gullible after they've already realized that somebody wasn't gullible. So, it's like... Where are these people's minds at? So I feel like that, yeah, there could be somebody or some people in this situation. They're overindulging in some toxic substances or they've overindulged too much. Or, yeah, some some plastic surgery then got to somebody's head. Whatever this green stuff. Yeah, that it done got to somebody's brain or something like that. Somebody's first middle last name could start with a U, a D, or an O. Something about duo. Somebody owes somebody something as well. Somebody's first mother or last name could start with a D. They owe somebody or something like that. But something about duo. So Google, Google duo. So somebody possibly could try to uh, Google duo somebody. But it's something about, yeah, some, some, some hard, some cold hard facts. So somebody, yeah, just needs to stay focused on their goals because some, some cold hard facts are definitely getting ready to be presented to somebody. Or something about, yeah, somebody now wanting to talk sense. Possibly because of some some cold hard facts. Something about yeah, do you? Because that's what it says too. Something about yeah, somebody telling somebody to do you, or or maybe that's what somebody's gonna try to say. Well, you told me to do me, and I did me. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody did them too much, or something like that. But what's what's done can't be undone. The fact of the matter is, whoever decided to do them or whatever, you know, there's some cold hard facts that are definitely getting ready to uh, be brought to somebody. But it's also too, yeah, somebody um, doesn't need to, yeah, it's it's time for uh, some stuff to be shown or it's time, yeah, for uh, some stuff to be heard or something like that. Or it's time, yeah, to talk, to talk sense. Yeah, because somebody's been lying for too long. Mm -hmm. so somebody or some people they want to bury the hatchet it's a delusional karmic out here but I feel like it could be multiple delusional karmics is what I'm picking up yeah somebody definitely could be selling and pawning things for money now so it goes back to yeah um, somebody uh, yeah not not having a win, uh, pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of possibly yeah using people for money and they can no longer use people for money or something about yeah people finding some cold hard facts out about somebody yeah but it's also too, yeah, if somebody possibly sold and pawned some stuff for money in the past, yeah, I feel like that um that's what somebody had to do in order to pay their electric bill or in order to pay their water bill or in order to, you know, buy food. It is what it is. Somebody no longer is living in that uh, poverty mindset anymore. So it's kind of like, yeah, if that's what people were trying to use against somebody, oh, well. Some people possibly, yeah, lied and said that somebody was a couch potato. Somebody didn't, you know what I'm saying, take care of their business. Somebody didn't, yeah. I, I feel like that, yeah, whoever this message is for, I feel like you've never been a couch potato. But you possibly, yeah, have had to sell and pawn things for money. Okay, and what does that mean? You know what I mean? You you found a way to pay your light bill or your electric bill. You know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, the fact of the matter is, it's not what you did as far as selling and pawning uh, things for money. Because, yeah, somebody else is probably out here selling selling cat or using their 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 breasts and their booty. You know what I'm saying? Versus somebody, yeah, being um, dignified and, 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 and yeah, uh, unprideful. You know what I mean? Basically saying, well, I guess I ain't going to be watching TV. You know what I'm saying? Which is it's, it's toxic anyway. So let me go ahead and go sell this TV so I can get a couple of dollars to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 pay this rent or whatever the situation is. I feel like it don't matter because uh, somebody, they could talk about somebody all day. Somebody wasn't out there selling that cat, showing that booty, showing that in boobs. You know what I'm saying? Possibly, yeah, getting STDs that they can't cure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, going to get plastic surgery and then, you know, it, it goes bad and now somebody's laying up in the hospital or whatever the situation is.
Somebody's first middle or last name could start with an H. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a karmic feminine. So with that being said, yeah. If 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 this is the delusional karmic or if this is one of the people, you know what I'm saying, that 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 was talking about somebody selling and pawning things for money, and guess what? Now they're selling and pawning things for money. Mm-mm. But there is a karmic feminine or whoever these people are that are trying to find trying to find somebody's weakness. I feel like yeah, they're trying to get close to somebody. Somebody's first mother last name could start with a Z. Or is he? Mm -mm. Yep, but there is somebody that, yeah, they're about to be found guilty of all charges. This could be this karmic feminine. Uh, this could be somebody's father, somebody's baby father. Or something about, yeah, a karmic feminine being, being found guilty of all charges when it comes to, like, yeah, poisoning. Or something, yeah, something about poison or something about, yeah, putting something in somebody's drink or somebody's food. Mm -hmm. Or something about, yeah, somebody else is about to be found. It could be multiple people. Uh, I don't know. But something about, yeah, that poison is, is sticking out very heavily. Yep. And then we have spiritual awakening. So somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening. It's time. Mm-hmm. And what's done can't be undone. So, yeah, once somebody, you know, spiritually awakens, you know, it's kind of like uh, you can, you know, go back to being toxic. You know what I mean? But you can't you can't undo spiritual awakening. And so maybe that's what somebody tried to do, you know, and maybe, yeah, they're getting the worst karma that they've ever, you know, felt in their life or something like that. Yeah. Whoever this message is for, you are a Grammy winner and they're a one-hit runner. I mean, you could literally be a Grammy winner. Uh, but, you know, this card is saying that, like, yeah, you're the whole package. And, you know what I'm saying? They're second best, you know? You get the blue ribbon and they get the, you know, the, the yellow ribbon or the red ribbon, you know? You get the uh, the gold medal and they get the bronze or the silver. Silver, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's definitely a big energy shift that's getting ready to take place. But I've already talked about that big energy shift with the uh, this full moon. I mean, this new moon and uh, Mercury retrograde. Mm -mm. There's somebody that's falling from grace. So, whoever this is is falling from grace. I feel like that whoever this person is, yeah, they try to undo a spiritual awakening or something like that. Or this this could be people that was talking about somebody to try to undo somebody's spiritual awakening or try to get people to not believe that somebody spirit, was spiritually awakened or something like that. But yeah, somebody wants, some, wants somebody to act like some stuff never happened. People can act like it never happened. You know what I'm saying? People can act like that them that they're not falling from grace or whatever. They can act like whatever they want to. To it don't it don't it don't mean that it's not happening. Oh, it's happening. You know what I mean? There's cold hard facts about somebody. Yeah, that somebody's guilty of all charges. You know, somebody definitely could have been trying to act like that they were spiritually awakened. You know what I mean? And maybe they were trying to act like somebody, or they were trying to yeah, because whoever this person is, they want to be somebody. They're delusional. Somebody definitely is about to cry some tears of joy. So I feel like that, um, yeah, somebody needs to get ready. Uh, because I feel like that um, there is some information uh, that's getting ready to take place for somebody. Or that's getting ready to come to somebody. But something great is getting ready to take place for somebody. Yeah, some facts will be uh, made known. And I feel like it definitely has something to do with somebody or some people being guilty of all charges it definitely could have something to do with yeah somebody finding out who else was involved in the using trying to use somebody's secrets against them you know um yeah but somebody's also going to find out that yeah somebody's hiding the disease from people so i feel like it's whoever this delusional karmic is 
We got contempt of court. So, yeah, this could be spiritual court. So somebody could be, yeah, being held in contempt of court, but also being held guilty. I mean, being being found guilty of all charges, but this could also be physical court as well. Um, because, yeah, we have incriminating evidence found and then we have guilty of all charges. But, yeah, whoever this message is for, you might not be a celebrity, but you definitely do have paparazzi. So you definitely do have people that are watching you and people are amazed and people, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they looking at you, you know what I'm saying? But but there's a lot, or let me not say a lot, but there's uh, some people that are definitely looking at somebody sexually. So, yeah, somebody needs to be aware. But, yeah, somebody's in a bottomless pit. They can't get out. And so I feel like whoever this message is for, just know um, that, yeah, there will there are some facts that will be made known. And you definitely are going to, yeah, receive some good news. Mm-mm. So somebody's been hiding a, a disease from people. But I feel like, yeah, somebody was lying and saying that somebody else was hiding a disease from people. Until, yeah, somebody, till people, yeah, found out that somebody was hiding a disease from people. Yeah, whoever this person is, their obsession with how people views them has them looking like an idiot because people are viewing them in a bad way. And it's because, yeah, people are finding out the truth about this person. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody could have a life path. Yeah, number four, which is all about foundations. So I feel like, yeah, somebody needs to, you know, just stay focused on their goals and continue, you know what I'm saying, to build, a, continue to build a, the stable foundation that they've been building. Yep, somebody's stuck in a cycle while somebody else is free. So we definitely were talking about that freedom. Mm-hmm. Somebody's mental health is deteriorating. Yep. Somebody's also, yeah, going through some type of identity crisis. Somebody's been faking for too long. So, yeah, whoever this person is, yeah, they've been delusional this whole time thinking that they basically were, yeah, whoever, you know, this message is for. And if not that, yeah, just um, they were thinking that they were, you know, um, the dignified um, divine feminine or divine masculine that they're not. But something about, yeah, a big fight. We've been picking up on that uh, fight energy. So something about a big fight could break out. Somebody definitely needs to stick to the facts, though. Or something about, yeah, somebody uh, somebody possibly trying to, yeah, pick a fight with somebody. But I feel like, yeah, somebody's going to, um, somebody's going to uh, <laughs> lose when it comes to that as well. But, yeah, we have a compulsive liar. So there's a compulsive liar out here. And something about, yeah, somebody reliving, reliving the same old story. So with that being said, yeah, whoever this person is, they keep going through the same things over and over and over, getting the same results. So, yeah, that, that literally is why, yeah, their mental health is deteriorating. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yep. Yep. Whoever this person is, they're jealous of those who have made their dreams a reality. And I feel like that uh, whoever this message is for, yeah, you definitely could have made, could have turned your dreams into a reality or you're about to. Yeah. So whoever this person is or whoever these people are, they basically expose private information because of their jealousy. So, yeah, lies. But I feel like this private information, yeah, if somebody sold and pawned something for money, it wasn't because so they can go get drugs or it wasn't so that they could go get plastic surgery. It was so that they could pay their bills. You know what I mean? But I feel like, yeah, somebody's getting karma, yeah, for having their mouth on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, a, a, a spiritually awakened individual. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's somebody that basically wants to tell the truth, but they're scared that somebody won't forgive them. I feel like that's the one, you know what I'm saying, that possibly, yeah, could be, you know, uh, getting the courage to possibly tell the truth. Mm-hmm. We have a grandfather. So somebody's grandfather is involved. Somebody's father is involved. If somebody wants to tell the truth about, yeah, somebody's grandfather or something like that. But I'm also picking up, too, yeah, going back to, yeah, um, some type of spiritual inheritance or physical inheritance as well. And then we have an opportunist. So 
yeah, we have an opportunist out here. But it's something about, yeah, somebody somebody could be like younger in age and, and they could become a grandfather. But it's something about, too, something that somebody has done, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to like somebody's grandfather or somebody's father or something like that. But yeah, somebody's an opportunist out here. Mm-hmm. And whoever this opportunist is, they're about to be exposed. Or they're already being or already exposed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, karma is coming out of the closet. So whatever that means. So karma could cause, yeah, people to find out that somebody, yeah, has been in the closet. You know what I mean? But yeah, karma is coming out of the closet on a whole lot of people. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yep, somebody has some unresolved financial issues. I feel like that uh, whoever this person is, um, they possibly, yeah, cause some type of financial issues for somebody. Um, but it's also, too, yeah, this private information that, that possibly was exposed definitely could have something to do with some financial issues, which, again, uh, I feel like, the, yeah, this karma that's coming out of the closet is for everybody that had their mouth on somebody, that, yeah, side-eyed somebody, that, yeah, targeted somebody. So whoever was involved, you know what I'm saying, in targeting somebody, it could be at somebody's job. This could be somebody's delusional karma. This could be, yeah, somebody's grandfather. This could be, yeah, I feel like, yeah, everybody can get it. It's time. Yep, it's time to talk sense. We got the third eye chakra. So with that being said, yeah, I feel like regardless if somebody wants to tell somebody the truth or not, or they're scared to tell that somebody won't believe, uh, but won't believe them or won't forgive them, somebody possibly already knows what's up with this third eye chakra. Somebody can see people a mile away. Somebody already knows that somebody or some people are trying to find their weakness. Somebody already knows that, yeah, somebody's trying to control them or, you know what I'm saying, that somebody is a control freak or whatever the situation is. Somebody already knows what's up. Somebody already sees people a mile away. We have an illegal bank account, so somebody could find out about some, some illegal bank accounts. Somebody could have some illegal bank accounts in somebody's grandfather's name or somebody's father's name or something like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with a W. So whoever this person is, they're opportunist or something like that. Mm-hmm. Somebody's opportunity. We got multiple people out here. We got an illusional karmic. We got a karmic feminine. We got an opportunist. We got a karmic masculine. Mm-hmm. And then we have apology. So with that being said, yeah, I feel like that there definitely could be multiple people that want to apologize for somebody. The fact of the matter is, yeah, somebody, somebody is favored by God. So guess what? Yeah, anybody that wanted to have their little dirty ass lips on somebody, yeah, karma's coming out of the closet on them. Anybody that wanted to side eye somebody, yeah, somebody's uh, karma's coming out of the closet on them. Any any boss or anybody, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that yeah, wanted to target somebody, yeah, karma is coming out of the closet on these people. Mm-hmm. Yep. And there definitely is somebody or some people that know that they, yeah, basically fumbled some type of lesson. But it's also, too, yeah, if somebody was hiding some stuff from somebody as far as, like, some type of finances or whatever the situation is, yeah, they done messed it up. Or somebody done messed something up. So it's kind of like, yeah, somebody was in charge of something or somebody had, um, you know, like, access to, like, you know, some inheritance or some uh, money or something that yeah was left by an ancestor yeah somebody somebody spent it all somebody fumbled it mm. or something like that yeah somebody's about to get the w but there's an opportunist that thinks that they're about to get the w this is a karmic masculine and they think that if they apologize uh, you know what I'm saying? That they'll get some type of W. They see that somebody definitely is favored by God or something like that. And I feel like, yeah, this person is about to get slapped the freak down. This is, yeah, spiritual smackdown. Those past people that think that they about to, yeah, waltz in somebody's life, it ain't going to happen. Or, you know what I'm saying? If they think, yeah, it's been five years, you know what I'm saying? They don't, they won't remember or, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter anymore. All right. Yep. So, yeah, somebody's fraudulent and crooked ac actions leads to, yeah, whoever this message is, 
Uh, yeah, receiving the W. Uh, yeah, their fraudulent and crooked actions lead to a win for whoever's resonating with this message. And yeah, you've already outgrown them. Whoever these people are, you've already got grown. Yeah, you faced many hardships and you made it out. So with that being said, that's what these people are seeing you do. Mm -hmm. While you're favored by God, yeah, drugs are these people's best friends. They're addicted. So somebody, yeah, somebody possibly is trying to put something in somebody's drink or whatever the situation is. Somebody possibly is trying to figure out if somebody yeah, still drinks or, you know, whatever the situation is. I feel like, yeah, somebody just needs to be aware. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, when it comes to, like, that job, yeah, stereotyping you only sets you apart from the rest. You know, if, if these people, yeah, because somebody basically knows that they misjudge whoever's resonating with this message. So, yeah, stereotyping you only sets you apart from the rest. And so, yeah, there is some confirmation that is coming your way. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's it ain't nothing but facts, 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 facts. So yeah. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, the confirmation that's coming somebody's way is the fact of uh, uh, truth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody was acquiring money or people acquired money by cutting corners. I feel like that these people definitely try to lie and say that somebody else acquired money by cutting corners, but at the same time, yeah, selling and pawning things for money. So which one is it? Yeah, inc inconsistent stories, yeah. So the fact of the matter is, yeah. People misjudged somebody and yeah somebody is free of these people mm -mm. and it's something about yeah spiritual warning so somebody or people yeah possibly yeah we're given some type of spiritual warning yep and then we have a get rich quick scheme so there goes that yeah that um uh, go fund me or yeah using people you know for money or whatever the situation is so with that being said yeah guilty of all charges when it comes to yeah whatever somebody or some people were doing somebody possibly uh possibly could be receiving some type of financial payment so there could be some type of financial payment that could be coming somebody's way we have fake apology so there's so somebody, so we have a real apology out here and fake apology. So there is somebody that, yeah, definitely has some type of fake apology to possibly try to get back in somebody's uh, good graces. This is the one that's trying to find somebody's weakness. Uh, there's also somebody that, yeah, made false reports. So somebody's being definitely free from that. So it goes back to, yeah, targeting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, some type of bad communication leads to an eye-opening uh, situation. Mm -mm. Yep, and so I feel like, yeah, somebody's about to receive some good news. Somebody definitely, yeah, is dealing with some type of major health issues. Uh, and I feel like, yeah, a lot of people are about to find out about it. Yeah, somebody's hiding a deadly disease or hiding some type of disease from people. Somebody, yeah, knows that they've been lying for too long. So... Whoever this message is for, just know um, that uh, you're possibly, yeah, going to be crying tears of joy sooner than later. Um, somebody, yeah, some type of bad communication leads to an eye-opening situation. So it's something about, yeah, uh, bad communication. This could be like uh, inconsistent communication. This could be like no communication. But whatever this communication is, uh, this bad communication, it definitely leads to an eye-opening uh, situation. But yeah, these people doing fraudulent and crooked act things and, you know, committing fraudulent and crooked actions, yeah, they lead to a W. So, as I always say, y'all, keep your head held high and your middle finger higher. And yeah, everything's going to work out. So, with that being said, y'all, that's been your message. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.